getting to the root cause of what's causing these issues uh, or blocking you from having peak states. And it's all trauma related. Uh, so we're not just managing the symptoms. We're not just helping you kind of figure out some conscious ways to deal with the issue that, uh, that you have. Uh, it's about getting the root cause and eliminating that issue for you altogether. Hello, my name is Daniel Zeiss, and I'm here with Shane McKinsey, the CEO and Clinic Director and uh, Director of Training of the Institute for the Study of Peak States. The Peak States Method is a state-of-the-art trauma healing technique with some additional bells and whistles. The cool thing is that there is a third annual symposium right around the corner, and this video wants to give you a brief introduction to Peak States, Psychoimmunology, you will see and you will get the opportunity to reserve your seat at the end of this video. And uh, we are happy to see you at the live online symposium on April 2nd and 3rd, 2022. So Shane, in your words, can you give me or the viewer an introduction to peak states? Yeah, so peak states kind of started with our founder, Dr. Grant McFedridge, having a great peak state for, for most of his life and then losing that peak state. And so... He set up the Institute as a research organization to figure out how do you get peak states of consciousness? And in simple terms, the, the answer to that was very different to what most people talk about. And that is rather than there's things you need to do to attain peak states, like a spiritual practice or leaving a virtuous life or things like this, it's actually what's blocking us from having us having these peak states because peak states are around are actually our birth given right we should all be having these great peak states of consciousness and it's trauma that we've experienced that's actually blocking us from actually having that so that meant that we then became very good at trauma therapy and now we actually use trauma therapy to help a lots of different clients solve a whole range of different issues whether that's relationship issues chronic pain mental health issues and now as as you're talking about leading up to the symposium we're also helping uh, coming up uh, researching and developing new treatments to help people eliminate diseases as well, which is what the psychoimmunology field is all about. Awesome. And can you give me, when we just mentioned the symposium, what can we expect in the symposium? What is uh, the topic there? And um, yeah, what will we learn? Yeah, so this weekend uh, there will be uh, six presentations on each day. Uh, so there'll be 12 presentations. And what we're trying to do, ideally what we want to do is be able to collaborate and find other researchers are really interested in doing the kind of work that we're looking at to do as well, which is how do we continue to improve the human experience? How do we eliminate diseases? How do we get peak states? How, how do we uh, eliminate these issues in our life that stop us from, from living an extraordinary life? And uh, But at just about everyone... Uh, who's presenting is actually uh, staff at the Institute or, or certainly a, a certified therapist. And so a lot of what they're presenting on is some of the research projects um, that they've done. Uh, so getting to see how psychoimmunology is actually coming up with new treatments. So, uh, so the first day is probably more around what are the broader implications, more about from a model perspective. So we've got Dr. Miri Palacy is kind of talking about potential medical applications uh, for psychoimmunology. Our founder and co-director of research, Dr. Grant McFedridge, he's going to be talking about uh, human prion diseases. Uh, so what are the kind of diseases that we think are, are prion-based? Uh, our other co-director of research, she's going to be generally talking about health and wellness and, and uh, what's the, our institute's perspective on you know, what contributes um, to that. So some very good kind of broad uh, topics as well as some of the fundamentals around uh, Dr. Celine uh, Grin is talking about, uh, she's a neuroscientist, so she's kind of be kind of be bridging what do we know from neuroscience and how does that fit in with our model around trauma. Uh, and uh, Gitan Klein's also going to be talking about the foundations of what we call subcellular psychobiology, which is kind of the model that we use to, to help people from a trauma therapy perspective. Uh, the second day is much more practical applications. Uh, so um, what's contributing to OCD and some case studies around that. Uh, what's the root cause of why people feel really needy in relationships or uh, they can be easily manipulated. So um, um, the importance of shame or birth trauma, how does this kind of play out? For, so it's much more practical on, uh, on, on day two. 
Wonderful. That sounds very exciting. And if 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 I'm if I'm now visiting that uh, online symposium, do you have to pay any fees or entrance registration? No, fee? it's a it's a free symposium. You know, this is one of our altruistic uh, things that we want to do. We want to get this kind of understanding out into the world, uh, either so that other researchers uh, become aware of this, and so that what they're researching they can you know, consider this model as well, but also to let. Uh, I guess, potential clients who are looking to solve a, a life issue that they have that other approaches haven't worked for them, they get to understand a little bit of the research behind it um, as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's free to, to register. You do need to register before the event. So you need to go to our website to be able to register for the, the Zoom webinar. Uh, and then once you've registered, you can attend on either the Saturday or the Sunday or both. Wonderful. And are we, we're going to put that link here as well for registration. So you can just stay to the end and then uh, get your QR code and then just register. Why is this peak state work so amazing and incredibly cool? Uh, so at the Institute for the Study of Peak States, I would say there's three very broad groups of clients that we work with. So one we call trauma therapy clients. Now, Trauma is much broader than just PTSD. It's pretty much any kind of upset or you know, an area of your life that's not working, whether that's relationships or work or chronic pain or mental health issues. So that's one group of clients. Then we've got another group of clients who are about, they, they don't really have issues in their life. There's not big major issues in life. Life's generally going really well, but they're really interested in getting new peak states Uh, of consciousness. So it's much more about personal development than it is about kind of fixing some issues in their life. And then the last group is around, uh, we call them clinic treatments. So this is much more uh, mental health disorders or um, yeah, medical diseases. And in most cases, type of diseases that the current uh, field would say is not, is not possible and it's incurable uh, type of issues. So this could be things like Uh, OCD, uh, Lyme's disease, we've actually got treatments to actually eliminate these altogether. Now, while they're very broad, different clients, there's some things that they all have in common. So our approach to all of these is about getting to the root cause of what's causing these issues uh, or blocking you from having peak states. And it's all trauma related. Uh, so we're not just managing the symptoms. We're not just helping you kind of figure out some conscious ways to deal with the issue that, uh, that you have. Uh, it's about getting the root cause and eliminating that issue for you altogether. So that's actually pretty cool. And we want to make sure that it's a permanent solution for our clients. So it's not just they feel great in the session. We actually have some follow-up sessions to make sure that whatever we help them achieve, whether it's a new peak state or whether it's eliminating the issue in their life or eliminating disease that they have, that it's stable for weeks so they know that this has actually been successful. So that's that's one thing that's quite different to, to most people's approach. But the other thing that's very unique about our work is that we follow what we call pay for results. Uh, now, what that means is that our clients only pay for the, the therapy or the, the peak states or the, the, the disease being eliminated if it actually works. Uh, so... Most of the time, it's only a few sessions because uh, if we can't actually help our client in, you know, in less than five or six sessions, then uh, it's probably not going to work. Uh, and so it's very efficient uh, as far as it really does only take a few sessions to, to help them achieve their goal. Uh, but also that in the, the few cases that we're not able to help people, they would have, certainly haven't wasted any money uh, in investing whether this approach might work for them. Uh, so I quite like that as well. I think it's very good from an ethical perspective, but also encourages us as therapists and as a research organization to make sure that we're coming up with approaches that are really effective and simple to use and efficient in actually helping them get the goal that they want. Wow. Um, and you just mentioned clients. So when I'm now a client and I don't feel so good in, in a certain area of my life, in my relationship or with my work or with my just how I am, how I feel, um, and I watch this and that somehow resonates with me, what, what would be the next step for me to get in contact with you guys? Yeah, so depending on what type of issue you're looking to resolve. So if you're in the, the therapy uh, type of issue, so this is a very broad just kind of life uh, issues, uh, then 
uh, we've got peakstatestherapy.com uh, and on that page you can see the type of issues that we could address uh, and then there's also a list of the different uh, therapists uh, that are there that you can see by country and you know obviously lots of different languages that people speak so um, depending on where you're from in the world and I'll talk a little bit around what kind of specialties uh, they focus on or if it's more from our clinic treatment so this would be OCD, Lyme disease, uh, TBI or Asperger's uh, those treatments, uh, it's at peakstatesclinics.com. Uh, but both of those you can find uh, links to uh, each other on the, on the same website. Wonderful. Thank you very much. And we are going to see you as well in the symposium? Yes. So I'll be hosting uh, and I actually have three presentations that, that I'll be doing. So yes, uh, oh, you'll definitely get to see me there. Wonderful. Exciting. Thank you very much for that interview. And uh, I wish you much luck and uh, the whole institute much luck and uh, see you all soon. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thanks, everyone. Bye.